So CAR T cells are a form of personalized immunotherapy. So we uh, obtain white blood cells, T cells, from a patient and modify them such that they express this chimeric antigen receptor, which acts like a biosensor. So this CAR um, can bind and recognize a um, specific molecule on the surface of multiple myeloma cells. And once the biosensor detects this molecule, the CAR T cells are activated and triggered and start um, destroying the myeloma cells. CAR T cells are also a form of living drug. So we obtain the white blood cells and then do this engineering part in the clean room laboratory. Um, the T cells are activated, then we do um, the gene transfer to express the chimeric antigen receptor. We amplify the cells and then formulate this cell product into an infusion bag. The CAR T cells are then administered as an intravenous infusion to a patient. So CAR T cells are a very exciting new treatment in hematology. We know that they can be very effective and cure patients with acute leukemia and also some patients with lymphoma. And um, consequently, there's a lot of hope that this uh, new treatment will also be very effective, potentially also curative in some patients with multiple myeloma. So we have the first clinical experience with CAR T cells that recognize the BCMA, B cell maturation antigen. The clinical data are very encouraging. They also show that we have still some work to do to make the treatment more effective, to find the optimal uh, place in the treatment algorithm uh, for multiple myeloma. And I think the current um, concepts are to move CAR T cell therapy also in earlier lines of therapies. The question is, will CAR T cells be used as a standalone treatment? Will they be used in combination with other antimyeloma drugs? And these are the questions that we'll see being tested in the upcoming clinical trials. So CAR T cells are a form of immunotherapy. It's a very potent form of immunotherapy. And so the side effects that we observe are also um, an expression of this potent immune reaction that has taken place against multiple myeloma cells. The most frequent side effect that we observe in all clinical trials that use CAR T cells is the cytokine release syndrome. These cytokines, these are molecules that immune cells use to communicate with each other. And as such, we see um, in clinical trials that administer uh, CAR T cells, the cytokine release syndrome is the most frequent uh, side effect. Um, patients experience um, several symptoms that can range from hypotension, low blood pressure, dyspnea, so they, they recognize that it's getting difficult to breathe. Um, there are other uh, consequences that are uh, an expression of the strong immune reaction that is uh, happening in the patient's body. Um, importantly, however, the cytokine release syndrome is of uh, transient nature. Um, and even though it can be severe in some patients, um, most of the patients ultimately recover and we are uh, defining treatment algorithms and continue to refine them um, to steer patients through this um, as safely as possible. I would also, of course, like to, to take the opportunity and provide an update on where the Caramba project uh, stands, where Myeloma Patients Europe is one of the partners and an important partner because um, we, of course, like to get the feedback and involve myeloma patients into the development of this cell product. Um, as of today, we've, uh, we've continued to make very good progress in preparing this clinical trial. So we uh, are now able to make this cell product. Um, in the clean room laboratory and are currently obtaining the manufacturing license uh, to produce uh, the cells and distribute them to the clinical trial partners uh, in the Caramba Consortium and are currently preparing the documents to apply for the clinical trial. Um, so we're very well on track and um, are still very confident that SLMF7 CAR T cells will be a valuable new um, addition to the armamentarium um, of treating multiple myeloma.